Hello and welcome. I'm Helen Pecker and I'm the designer of these wedding dresses. Today we will make overbust corset. All details corsets are cut out. Now I take details from setting number 2, number 4, 6 and 8. Details of the corset number 1, 3, 5 and 7 I put aside separately. Then I do the same with taffeta details. I take the details number 2, 4, 6 and 8. This is the line of the middle of the back. And now for details number 8, they are folded with the front side to each other along the line on the, of the middle of the back, I pierce the pins. A zipper will be sewn along this line. I stick a pin into the bust point of details number 2 of the corset and copy the location of this point on the second of the same detail in this way. I want to explain again. Here are two details number 2. One detail on the top of another. This is the bust point of one of details number 2. And this is another same bust point, but on another detail number 2. This is detail number one. Along the line of the middle of the front, there is a fold, not a seam. Therefore, detail number one is only one piece. All other details are all cut out into pieces. For detail number two, lines are drawn on all sections along which the seam will be sewn. Seam allowance on all seams is 1.5 cm. I combine the bust point for detail number 2 with the bust point for detail number 1 and pierce both details at the point of the bust with a pin. Now moving up to the top line. Then from the point of the bust down. This is an important nuance. I also work on the sec second detail number two. Remember, the first step is the bust point, the second step is the upward movement. The third step is the downward movement. All other details of the top and lining are also chipped off with pins. But the number 8 details from the setting are now separate from the rest of the details. And the lining taffeta details are connected to the rest of the taffeta details. <laughs> 